Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to come on here and discuss a few things. A lot of times I have things to tell you guys and I get sidetracked and this has been the most busy Christmas season that I can ever remember. Seriously, I have gotten so behind on watching videos and a lot of videos I've watched but I haven't had time to comment. I don't know, I have just been going strong. But I wanted to say that I really appreciate all of the love and support you guys have given me in 2020 and I love you guys so much. I've had some requests to start featuring some eye candy in the back so that's what I have chose to do. Okay, so I actually made a list. It's in my agenda. <laughs> all right, so thank you all for the gifts that you sent me. I don't expect it, you guys. I don't expect it at all. I appreciate it, and you guys are just awesome. Just being here with me, and like Lisa of Lisa Loves Bags, I was watching her video today, and she's always said this, and I just have to point this out because she always is so appreciative. She's a good friend of mine, and um, but she says thank you for your time. And I love that about her because she's right. I mean, sometimes it takes a lot of time to sit and watch videos. And if I'm going to watch a video, I'm going to watch the whole entire video. Like I watch my analytics and you know, there's some videos I might put out and I, I'm a little long winded, like a Baptist preacher, <laughs> but I might put out a 20 minute video and people like as a whole on the analytics are watching six minutes of it. It's a lot of work you guys. So if you're going to watch a video, it would be great if you would just stick it out to the end. And that's why I, I don't watch a lot of YouTubers as much as I used to because because of time. I have to paint, I have commissions, I have things to do, but um, the ones that I watch, I stick it out to the end. And like Lisa put it so eloquently, um, thank you for your time because you are spending time with me, you're spending time with Lisa, and I just love that she says that at the end of every video. Okay, so I wanna discuss the giveaway first. It was supposed to have been given away before Christmas, and you guys, I'm so sorry, but I I started a painting, I even started to show you guys on one of my vlogs, and I didn't like it. And if I don't love something, I just, I can't give it away. I just can't. So, um, it went in the crap pile. I have a big closet full of crappy paintings. <laughs> Every artist does, but we don't look at the, we don't look at it like a fail, because every bad painting, you know you're learning and getting better and I just didn't I wasn't feeling it I didn't love it I couldn't give it away so everything is settling down uh, I will paint something and try to get it finished next week and do the giveaway so I'm not gonna do a Christmas painting like I had decided I'm just gonna do whatever I'm feeling if you guys have any suggestions I welcome those so that's what's up there also I have some videos coming up I wanted to let you guys know I have Christmas gift reviews. Um, I got an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner, you guys, it's the bomb. So I just cleaned my jewelry this morning and the crap that came off these diamonds, I think I always have my lights up too high, but anyway, crap that came off my diamonds, oh my gosh, and they are so sparkly. Ah, I love it. It's one of my favorite gifts that Keith got me. He always thinks of really unique gifts because I always bought that cleaner like from Walmart and I would put um, my jewelry down in that cleaner, but he got me this ultrasonic cleaner and I love it. So I'm going to do like a demo. Okay. I want to do some bag reviews on Kurt Geiger, my latest obsession. I love Kurt Geiger. You guys, the bags are so inexpensive and they're actually, I mean, they're inexpensive. You know, I mean, if you're talking about a $2,000 bag, these are like two and 300 dollar bags and they're fabulous. So I got two of those. I'm going to do reviews on them. I highly, highly recommend them. So yeah, I have two collabs coming up. One with Tanya, one with Mari. This week, Wednesday with Tanya and then Mari on Saturday. And I was supposed to have collabed with uh, Weenie, but I'm a little confused what we agreed on because I was supposed to have gotten something that I didn't get and now I'm confused. <laughs> My goal at the beginning of the year was to get to 4,000 subscribers by Christmas. I didn't make it. I'm pretty close. Uh, I'm pretty close to 3,700 and I'm thankful for every one of you. But if you watch my videos regularly and you are not subscribed, please subscribe. It really would help me out 
so much. It really would. And I would just be so thankful. But I do want to grow my channel. And yeah, this is just, this is, you guys are part of my life and I absolutely love you guys. Okay. So let me see if I went down the list and told you everything that I want to do. Okay. So I decided, you guys, if you look at my description box, a lot of times I will put Yota's Fabulous Finds. And it's things that I just absolutely love, things that I have purchased myself, or things that are on sale at a really good price. So I was thinking about maybe starting something called Yota's Fabulous Finds and doing it on a monthly basis, like once a month if you guys would be interested in that because I'm always finding things. Some things are kind of pricey. Some things are dirt cheap like this. Okay. So you guys, I just recently discovered this stuff. It looks blurry on the monitor, but it's St. Ives Renewing Moisturizer with collagen and elastin. And I love it. I love it. I get it at Walmart, maybe about six bucks. I'm going to list it below because I talked about it on one of my last videos. I forgot to list it. Somebody messaged me and so I went back in my description box and I listed it. But you guys, it feels so light yet so moisturizing and it feels so good on your skin. So I'm always finding things like this and like I said, I never really have been into expensive cosmetics because I always talk about my skincare. I do spend a lot of money on skincare. Um, because I feel like, you know, putting expensive cosmetics on a dirty palette, <laughs> meaning my face, makes no sense. I'd rather my skin look glowy and fresh and, you know, youthful, as youthful as possible anyway, uh, than put expensive makeup on a face that I don't take care of properly and as we age we really do need to be exfoliating and doing things like that. This is just a really good moisturizer. I use it on my face. I use it on my neck. I use it on my legs like everywhere. I use it everywhere and it's really really good stuff and it feels cooling when it goes on. I can't explain it but you guys need to get some of this. So if you're interested in um, a Fabulous Finds video once a month that would be I think interesting. I like those kind of videos. That's how I found a lot of things that I use. I love to watch Lisa Lisa D1. She always finds fabulous uh, products and also uh, Makeup by Tiffany. There are two larger YouTubers that I do watch because they are very informative and also you guys, um, I'm really into the luxury lippies now. Thanks to Gwenny and Winnie <laughs> and really Marie. I mean, they kind of got me curious and I love them. Like I'm wearing Dior right now. It is one of the lippies that came out of my uh, little Dior. I, I just really bought it for the clutch and all the colors work for me. So this color I'm wearing today is number 772 Classic Matte. And this was one of the little lippies that came in that Dior clutch set that I got myself for Christmas. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing a luxury lippy review. Is it worth the price? And also I consider Estee Lauder a luxury lippy. I mean, I love, I have always been obsessed with Estee Lauder everything. So, but anyway, uh, I thought I'd talk about like Hermes cause it's like double the price. Is it worth it? And now I haven't tried Chanel. So I'm going to order, like I have some Hermes, some Gucci and Dior. I'm going to order Chanel and YSL and I do have Estee Lauder. So I'm going to do, I'm really excited about this, you guys. So I'm going to do try ons and talk about if I think it's worth it for the money. And, and you guys, I always say what I think, it's just my opinion if you guys don't agree with what I say. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I don't agree with a lot of stuff that I see on YouTube. Like recently, I brought this up to Autumn and Winnie. I said, there's a lot of YouTubers now that are going on, uh, that are coming on YouTube and they're talking about, you know, how other YouTubers influence them. And, and we do influence people. And that's why we're called influencers, duh. But... <laughs> And how they regret all these purchases and, you know, how, but I don't regret my purchases and I'm not going to stop buying things because, you know, you only live once and buying things makes me really happy and I enjoy the things that I get. Um, if you have regrets and you just want to, you know, stop buying, stop being influenced, then really 
you know, YouTube may not be the place for you, but I love YouTube for that very reason because I have found so many fantastic things that I just love. So, okay. And I will also be doing a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. It won't be a painting, it will be a gift. I haven't decided what, but when I hit 4,000, so that's two giveaways coming up. And that's really all I have to tell you guys, except one thing. I am parting with this beautiful bag. It's a beautiful bag, but I'm just not a speedy girl. So I've had a speedy bandolier, and I still have a speedy bandolier, and I will showcase it at some point, and it's in the emprunt leather, and I'll never get rid of it. And this one, I hope I don't have regrets, but I don't really carry it. This has always been my, whenever it rains, I grab this bag because, you know, Ebeen is just, you know, you it's indestructible. And I have had this bag, and it's stuffed. I have had this bag for a really long time. I'm not even sure, at least 10 years. It's the older style because it's not puffy here. It is in perfect condition. So I went on Fashion File to see how much, this is a 35, how much they're selling for. And they're selling for over $1,000, $1,200 you know, that price range. This could use a little cleaning, but the zipper is still just um, buttery smooth as Louis Vuitton zippers are. It has the red interior. No marks, I've never carried pins in this bag. It's a fabulous bag, and I might regret it later, but right now I, I want to sell this one because I want the, I want to replace it with another Ebeen bag that I know that I will carry, and that would be the Alma BB. And so I'm selling this to purchase the Alma BB. So that's, you know, because I talked about how I feel about buying bags. I love buying bags, and I'm never going to stop. Never! Until I'm six feet under or, you know, sprinkled out over the Mediterranean somewhere. That's when I'll stop. Can somebody have too many bags? Well, that's just up to you. I mean, you know, I see YouTubers say that they want, you know, 10 bags, no more than 10 luxury bags. And I don't count my other bags, like Tory Burch, Coach, Kurt Geiger, although I do think they're luxury bags, but they're not in that price range. I do the pricey ones, uh, I do put them in the pricey category, luxury of luxury bags. But hey, if you want 10 bags and that's what you're comfortable with, you know, that's fine. I, I don't think I could handle that. <laughs> to be honest. Um, if you want 50, if you want 100, if you want 200, you know, whatever, whatever you want, that's your choice. I don't have a number. When you have something like this, and I've used it, I've used it a lot, and there's no corner wear, you guys, because I am meticulous with my back. No corner wear. Look at this but I am meticulous with my bags and I take care of them. So this is a fantastic bag. If I had to say the condition of it, I mean, now this, you know, it's an older bag. It's a little worn looking here, but everything is still intact. This needs to be cleaned, like I said, but I would say this bag is an excellent pre-loved condition or great condition. Uh, no marks, it's clean on inside, Everything about this bag is fabulous. I'm just not a speedy girl, but I love it. It, it has a piece of my heart. Mm, I might regret it, but if you're interested in the bag, just message me, email me. My email is in the description box, or you can message me on Instagram, Yota Style Lux. Let's see if I can think of anything else. I just wanted you guys to know that I do have reviews coming up. I don't want my channel to be all about unboxings, you know, what did she get this time? Which, which I do unbox a lot, and I'm not, I'm not apologizing for that because you know I'm at the age that my children are grown. I have grandchildren, and I love to buy things for them. But you know what? It's me time now, and I don't apologize for it. I love it. It's so much fun. Ooh, me time. You know what? When you get up in your fifties, that that's when you really start living. <laughs> It is. It's me time and I love it. So no apologies here. Oh, and let me show you my bag of the day. And I normally would change my bags out once a week. I decided I'm going to be changing them out more often. 
often, often. This is my bag of the day. I am going out for a little while. I'm taking my mom out for some errands and uh, it's it's a little gloomy day. It's not rainy. So this is my YSL envelope bag. Oh my God. Oh my God. It, the, oh, I want to make out with it. I really do. And I might do that later because it's just a fabulous bag. It's got the pocket. Oh, this, this bag. You know what? I seriously have been talking about, you know, being more careful about what I buy and this year, but I wouldn't mind, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if I had another bag like this and another color. I love the taupe one. I wouldn't get a black because I have so many black bags, but the taupe would be fabulous. You guys, oh, if you don't have this bag and you're on the fence about it, look at it. You have the chevron, you have the quilting, you have the back pocket. It's roomy. Oh my gosh, this bag is the bomb. Okay, so that's really all I had to say today. Oh, did I say what it is? Because somebody reminded me I'm never doing that. The YSL envelope bag in the large size. That's the name of this bag. I love YSL. Okay, yeah, that's all I've got written down. And you guys, if anybody's interested in this fabulous bag, oh my God. And I keep taking it off the shelf, looking at it, and I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I, like, I have emotional attachment to this bag, but it's not being used enough. So I'm trying to not be so emotional. I had that um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull that I sold, and I regretted it, and I repurchased it. But I'm a Neverfull girl, but I'm not a Speedy girl. But Speedies are beautiful bags. Um, I'm just not a Speedy girl. But it's the classic Speedy, no shoulder strap. But you guys, it is fabulous. I love it. Look at it. And I think it suits me. It's just, I don't know. I'm probably going to regret this. But anyway, <laughs> I just want, I, I want the Alma BB. And since I don't carry this one that much, it does make sense to let her go to someone who will love her and be kind to her and <sighs> adore her. So she doesn't really deserve to just be sitting on the shelf, right? Okay, so yeah, that's all I've got today. Wednesday will be my collab with Tanya. I love Tanya, bits and bags. Hey girl. And um, she is just a fabulous person, beautiful inside and out. So look forward to that. And um, that's all I've got. So I'll see you guys. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. If you watched my Christmas unboxing, you know, Keith surprised me with a David Yerman bracelet with the beautiful citrine. Well, I've had a lot of questions about this necklace. This is David Yerman, but I don't understand what's going on, okay? It says DY. I don't know if it's picking up. This was in the package. Like, I don't know if it was a free gift for Christmas. Like, I don't, I don't know. It was just a major score because on the receipt, it had a picture of my bracelet that Keith got me. And then it had a picture of another David Yerman bracelet with a little, some kind of charm in the front. And it was a corded bracelet like this, but it was blacked out. And then they sent this. So I don't know if it was a free gift, if you spend so much. I do, I do not know. I should probably try to do my research or even call them because I'm wondering what is going on. But... This was just included and it's just a cord. There's no clasp, but I just tie it in a knot and it just stays that way and I am obsessed. I love it. So I don't know if you can purchase it, if you could call David Yerman, because I've had several people ask me about this gorgeous necklace. You're gonna be seeing me wear this a lot. It looks like a sunburst, you know? It's very boho looking. I'm digging it, I love it. And Keith didn't pay a dime for it. He even checked his receipt to say, you know, to see, did they charge me for something I didn't order? It was a free gift. Score, baby. <laughs> That's all for today. I'll be back on Wednesday with Bits and Bags, Tanya of Bits and Bags. And I will see you guys again later. Peace.